Yeah, it's like on the normal roads, you have some idiots driving around, and uh, it yeah, seems that there's also one driving here. Hello and welcome to the season finale of the Cucumber Challenge, a championship where we're driving as Noreen Karthikan in a HRT, trying to win the World Drivers title. Now here in Brazil, this is the final race of course, and I'm not too sure how this car will handle around this track, so it's going to be a bit of a lottery to be honest. So I'm just going to go for it in qualifying, putting on a full qualifying setup, 1-1 one, one wings, gears all the way to the right, just so I can get as far up the grid as possible, and maybe go for the race win in this final race. But uh, the standings as it stands right now, Lewis Hamilton is 16 points ahead of myself, Jensen Button is only 3 points behind him, and behind him is Sebastian Vettel who's about 8 points behind, and then there's me. So if I win the race, uh, I need both the McLarens to finish outside the top 6 and I'll win the championship. If I win the race, Vettel can finish anywhere and I'll st still win. So let's see how we go out on track. Alright, so we're on the grid for the final time for the Cucumber Challenge, the final time in HRT for F1 2012. Hopefully a championship awaits. Away we go. We seem to get off to a decent start. Looks like the track is a little bit greasy to be honest. There might be a little bit of moisture on the track. We got the inside of both the McLarens and we're in to P1. This is where we need to be at this stage. We're doing all that we can right now. This reminds me a little bit of the uh, 2008 race with uh, Lewis Hamilton and Felipe Massa. So we've got track position now, all we've got to do is maintain that track position and see where we end up at the end of the day. Coming up to the start of the second lap now, putting it up into fast, just to defend from the other AI cars. Hamilton's name has disappeared, looks like he's coming into the pits for some reason and looks like a lot of other cars are following him as well, so maybe the AI think it's going to rain. Personally, I don't think it's going to rain, the, cr the clouds do look a bit, I don't know, hazy so it might rain but in my honest opinion I don't think it's gonna rain so the track looks to be drying up and I think they might have actually come in for a new set of dry tires so I'm just going to respond to what they did and um, hopefully rejoin the lead I'll go purple and it looks like both the McLarens are not in the top four so that's pretty interesting if they're out if they're sixth place or lower then I will win the championship of course look at that Charles Peak is in fourth place what the hell you get a decent pit stop 3.3 seconds HRT gave me a good pit stop right when I needed it, so I should be able to maintain track position here depending on where everything, uh, where everyone shapes up. So Alonso and Raikkonen are a long way behind me, and the McLarens are nowhere to be seen. I think the McLarens, being at the start of the pit lane, got held up by all the cars that came into the pits. Uh, looks like Massa still hasn't got past me, and he's about two tenths behind me at this stage. So we'll just need to make sure that we stay ahead of him. Get a good run off this uh, this corner here, as this is the probably the last opportunity that the AI have of overtaking me due to the DRS. So they won't be able to pass me in any of the corners. They're not brave enough to do that, and I don't think they'll be uh, they'll be fast enough to get me on the run up to the line. So it's the final lap now, and my engineer has just told me that m none of my championship rivals are where they should be. So if it stands like it is now, I will win the championship. So all I got to do now is just hold position, don't make any mistakes and it's in the bag for sure. I can't believe I'm in this position really because the HRT, as you guys know, is so terrible uh, on this game. It's like three or four seconds off the pace from the fastest cars. And Rain Carpet can, he just can't believe his luck, can he? So, going around the final couple of corners now and we'll just need to make sure we get a good exit off this final corner and the championship will be ours. So, Massa is eight tenths back. Unless he's got a whole lot of curves, I don't think he's gonna pass us and we're finally going to win a championship in a HRT. Can you believe it? This is just outstanding. Coming up to the line, and we won the frickin' championship! Get in there! So that's it lads, we've won the championship in a HRT with Narain Carpican. 
Could you believe it after the start of the season that we had struggling to score points and struggling to get out of the first qualifying session? I hope you've enjoyed this uh, Cucumber Challenge series and you'd have to say that the future for HRT is certainly looking bright. Oh, ah, uh, yes. How nice of you to call back. Um, so, so where do we stand on that half a million? You, you, oh, what? Oh, you're not going to... Oh, um... Oh, okay, 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 fine. Okay, oh, okay, okay, bye. We don't have the half a million. Um... Uh, dear factory, uh, this is a public service announcement. Um, we, we, we sort of don't have the half a million to enter the sport, so, um, we, we, we're sort of all out of jobs. Um, carry on. <laughs>